The College of Worcester is a private liberal arts college primarily known for its emphasis on mentored undergraduate research. It enrolls approximately 2,000 students, and is located in Worcester, Ohio, United States northeast of Columbus, the state capital. Founded in 1866 by the Presbyterian Church as the University of Worcester, it was from its creation a co-educational institution. The school is a member of the Five Colleges of Ohio and the Great Lakes Colleges Association. As of June 30, 2014, Worcester's endowment stood at approximately $271 million. Worcester is one of 40 colleges named in Laurent Pope's influential book Colleges That Change Lives, in which he called it his original best-kept secret in higher education. It is consistently ranked among the nation's top liberal arts colleges, according to U.S. News and World Report. In U.S. News Best Colleges 2014, for the twelfth year in a row, Worcester is recognized for its Euro outstanding Euro undergraduate research opportunities and its senior capstone program, known as IS. Only two schools have been named to both lists in each of the past twelve years, Worcester and Princeton University. History Founded as the University of Worcester in 1866 by Presbyterians, the institution opened its doors in 1870 with a faculty of five and a student body of thirty men and four women. Wealthy Worcester citizen Ephraim Quinby donated the first twenty-two acres, a large oak grove situated on a hilltop overlooking the town. After being founded with the intent to make Worcester open to everyone, the university's first Ph.D. was granted to a woman, Annie B. Irish, in 1882. The first black student, Clarence Allen, began his studies later in the same decade. In the pre-dawn hours of December 11, 1901, a fire destroyed the five-story old main building, the centerpiece of the campus. Within two years, it was replaced by several new buildings which remain the primary structures for the classes, labs, and faculty offices. These include Cork Hall, Scovel, Severance, and Taylor Hall. About ten years after the fire and rebuilding, there were eight divisions, including a medical school whose faculty outnumbered those in the College of Arts and Sciences. However, the university had gradually begun to define itself as a liberal arts institution and, in 1915, after a bitter dispute between the faculty and the trustees, chose to become the College of Worcester in order to devote itself entirely to the education of undergraduate students in the liberal arts. The enrollment of the college is kept intentionally small, around 2,000 students, to allow for close interaction between faculty and students. In the 1920s, William Jennings Bryan, a prominent Presbyterian layman, attacked the college for its teaching of evolution, which had been championed by President Charles F. Ishart, and called for the General Assembly of the Church to cut off funding to the college. But Ishart defeated Bryan for the position of moderator of the General Assembly, and the college continued to teach evolution. The college 240 acre has an unusual tree endowment, established in 1987, which supports tree conservation, maintenance, and a tree replacement program. The Oak Grove, a pleasant green space near the center of campus, plays host to commencement ceremonies each May. Several of the grove's trees are older than the college itself, including an eastern black oak near Galpin Hall that dates to 1681, as well as a 1766 white oak. Each senior class plants a class tree in the oak grove on the day before graduation. Academics, upon completion of at least 32 courses, students may earn a Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Music, or Bachelor of Music Education degree. In addition to the programs listed below, students may design their own major with approval from the Registrar and the Provost. Some of the pre-professional programs are cooperative ones in which students spend a certain period of time at the College of Worcester before transferring to accelerated courses at other colleges and universities. Equals Independent Study Program Equals the College of Worcester is especially noteworthy for its independent study program, in which all students work one-on-one -on -one with a faculty advisor to complete a written thesis or other significant project during the course of the senior year, usually about 50 to 100 pages in length. The student also presents an oral defense of the thesis before a faculty committee. The program, begun in 1947 by Howard Lowry, 
has received considerable attention from other colleges and universities, and a number of other institutions have modeled programs after it. In 2003, the independent study program at Worcester was recognized by U.S. News & World Report as the second-best senior capstone experience in the U.S., behind only Princeton University. Worcester ranks 14th in the United States among independent colleges whose graduates earn PhDs between 1920 and 1995. Preparation and completion of the thesis can be time-consuming, and led to one view in which a student, writing in the weekly The Worcester Voice, suggested that the independent study program be interwoven with career planning as well as applications to graduate schools. Special traditions have been developed surrounding independent study. Upon completion, a student receives a yellow button saying I did it, as well as the highly coveted Tootsie Roll. The tradition began in 1974 when the registrar at the time, Lee Culp, gave out candy along with the buttons one year. The Tootsie Roll itself was chosen simply because it was cheap to buy in bulk. Beginning in 1989, buttons were given out to indicate the order in which theses had been handed in. The due date, or the last day that students can turn in their completed independent study project, is the first Monday after spring break. On IS Monday, the pipe band strikes up including drums and trumpets, and with the provost leading the way, the seniors march through the cork arch in a jubilant parade, described by one professor as a celebration of both scholarship and survival, ending at Kittredge Dining Hall, where a celebratory dinner with advisors and college administrators follows. Equals libraries equals, the College of Worcester Libraries consists of three branches and a music library located at the Sket Music Center. Andrews Library, the largest library in the system, houses more than 850,000 volumes and can accommodate over 500 readers. Andrews Library houses the college's special collections, media library and the student writing center. The Flo K. Galt Library, built as an addition to Andrews Library in 1995, primarily serves as a place for class seniors to work on their independent study projects. The Galt Library contains carols devoted to independent study for every senior student of the humanities and social sciences. The Timken Science Library in Frick Hall, which is the oldest branch in the system, served as the original academic library for the college from 1900 to 1962. After three decades as an art museum the building reopened as the Science Library in 1998, with substantial funding from the Timken Foundation of Canton, Ohio and now primarily serves students in the math and sciences departments. The library provides independent study carols for math and science seniors. Consort, the College of Worcester became a founding member of the Five Colleges of Ohio Consortium in 1996. The College of Worcester merged its library catalog with Denison University, Kenyon College and Ohio Wesleyan University to form the Consort Library System. The Consort Library System provides its patrons access to the combined holdings of all four colleges. Ohio Link, Consort is a member of Ohio Link, a statewide consortium of academic libraries as well as the State Library of Ohio, which agreed to make their collections available to library patrons within this network. Consort's membership into Ohio Link gives its patrons immediate access to a collection of books online journals and databases that rivals the largest academic libraries in the country. The Ohio Link catalog represents 89 libraries in the state and lists nearly 11.5 million unique titles from total holdings of 48 million items. Equals Art Museum equals, the College of Worcester Art Museum was established in the 1930s as a small gallery to facilitate the teaching of art and art research at the college. The current museum was established at the Ebert Arts Center in 1997. The museum houses two small galleries, the Charlene Dirge Sussel Art Gallery and the Burton D. Morgan Gallery, as well as storage for the college's permanent art collection. The museum's encyclopedic collection spans from ancient to contemporary art. Permanent collections include the John Taylor Arms Print Collection, which represents works by Edward Hopper, Winslow Homer, Isabel Bishop, Martin Lewis, James Abbott McNeil Whistler, Albrecht Darwin Quarterer, Car Currency The Colweeds and Far Copyright Licks Braquem and, the William C. Mithuifer Collection of African Art, Middle Eastern Pottery and Chinese Decorative Art. 
student life equals residence life equals the College of Worcester is a residential campus and has 16 residence halls, which house 16 to 270 students each, and 30 program houses that 99% of the student body live in. The residence halls include Andrews Hall, Armington Hall, Babcock Hall, Bisman Hall, Bonhatter Hall, Compton Hall, Douglas Hall, Galt Manor, Galt Schoolhouse, Holden Annex, Holden Hall, Canardon Lodge, Loose Hall, the Rubbermaid Student Center, Stevenson Hall, and Wagner Hall. Equals international presence equals, Dr. Elias Compton, former dean of the college, founded the Worcester and India program during the 1930s, which established a sister-school relationship with Ewing Christian College in Allahabad, India. Over a 40-year time span, Worcester sent several former students to serve as head resident at Ewing while Ewing faculty were brought to Worcester as Ewing Fellows. A plaque with the names of Ewing Fellows hangs in Babcock Hall. The Worcester and India program helped build this unique bond between Worcester and India that enhanced the exchange of students, ideas and cultures. This international presence affected the entire campus, establishing a tradition which continues to influence the college. Today, approximately 6% of the student body is international in origin, representing more than 30 different countries. The college offers majors in cultural area studies and international relations, instruction in seven foreign languages and opportunities to study abroad in 60 countries. 59% of Worcester students are from outside of Ohio. Scott Center, in early 2012, the Scott Center, a 123,000-square-foot $30 million recreation facility, opened its doors. It includes four multipurpose sport courts, a 200-meter indoor track, a new fitness center, batting cages for baseball and softball, expanded locker rooms, coaches' offices and meeting facilities. The building also boasts a 20,000-square-foot solar roof, the largest of any college facility in the United States. The Scott Center is the first phase of a master plan to create a campus center. Babcock Residence Hall Babcock Hall houses 60% domestic and 40% international students who desire to experience this cross-cultural living environment. Babcock Hall offers cross-cultural programming that includes regular hall meetings with student speakers and cultural activities, celebrations of holidays from around the world, and discussions of international issues led by faculty and invited speakers. Loose Residence Hall Loose Hall houses six language suites providing students with a living learning environment focusing on developing foreign language skills. The building features submarine-inspired architectural details, like a winding floor plan and porthole windows. Equals athletics equals, Worcester's athletic history dates back to its first baseball team, in 1880, which played only one game, losing 12-2 to Kenyon College. The football program was established in 1889. Over its first two seasons, the team won all seven games it played, by a total score of 306-4. Included was a 64-0 victory at Ohio State on November 1, 1890, in the Bukis first ever home football game. Shortly thereafter, intercollegiate sports were banned by the college president. After varsity athletics returned in 1901, Worcester became an early member of the Ohio Athletic Conference. In 1983, Worcester broke away from the OAC to form the North Coast Athletic Conference. The NCAC, which competes at the non-scholarship Division III level of the NCAA, was founded primarily on the principle of offering women equal opportunity to participate in varsity sports. In its first season of competition, 1984-Euro-85, the NCAC sponsored 21 sports, 11 for men and 10 for women. Women's softball was added in 1998, and women's golf in 2010, giving the NCAC its current 23 sports. Worcester fields varsity athletic teams in all 23 of these sports. Scottish Heritage Worcester's school colors are black and old gold, and its mascot is the Fighting Scot. Early Worcester teams were known as the Presbyterians, or unofficially as the Presbyterian Steamroller, due to the football team's success. In 1939, 
a large donation from alumnus Bert Babcock funded the purchase of kilts for the marching band, in the yellow and black McLeod tartan, which had no particular significance, except that it matched the school colours. Scottish culture eventually became an important part of the school's heritage. Today, the football games feature a Scottish pipe brand with Highland dancers in addition to a traditional marching band, with all three groups clad in the McLeod tartan. The college offers a Scottish arts scholarship for students who perform as pipers, drummers, or Scottish dancers. Baseball The baseball team has made five appearances in the NCAA Division III World Series, including a second-place finish in 2009. The Scots lost the national championship final game to St Thomas, 3-2 in 12 innings. Worcester has made seven consecutive appearances in the NCAA baseball tournament, and 20 times overall, under head coach Tim Petorini, who has led the Scots since 1982. Petorini has guided the Scots to nearly 1,000 victories, placing him in the all-time top 10 among DIII baseball coaches. The Scots have also won a conference record 13 NCAC championships, including the 2010 title, in the league's 27 seasons. Prior to Petorini's tenure, Bob Morgan led the Scots to the NCAA tournament in each of his final five seasons, giving Worcester a total of 25 appearances since the event began in 1976. During the first decade of the 21st century, the Scots had a record of 372-98, winning more games than any other team in Division III, and were second in winning percentage over that span, trailing only St. Scholastica. The team has had six All-Americans in the last two seasons. In 2009, pitcher Justin McDowell, designated hitter Matt Grusinger, pitcher Mark Miller and outfielder Sean Carpen in 2009 were all honored, while shortstop Greg Van Horn and second baseman Matthew Johnson were named All-Americans in 2010. Following his graduation, Johnson signed with the Toronto Blue Jays organization, and is currently playing in their minor league system. Basketball in 24 seasons at Worcester, head men's basketball coach Steve Moore has won over 500 games, and has the highest winning percentage among all coaches in the history of NCAA Division III men's basketball. His teams have won 16 NCAC regular season championships and 14 NCAC tournament titles. Since 1991, the Scots have made 19 appearances in the NCAA Men's Division III Basketball Championship more than any other school during that span, failing to earn a berth only in 1994 and 2002. The team reached a Final Four of the NCAA DIII tournament in 2003, 2007, and 2011. The 2011 team set a school record for victories, with a record of 31-3, and reached a national championship game before falling to St. Thomas. The 2003 team was close behind at 30-3, with center Brian Nelson named DIII Men's Basketball Player of the Year. Home games are contested in the 3,400-seat Timken Gym, which is often filled to capacity for big games, including the rivalry contest with Wittenberg University and postseason tournaments. Since 2000, the Scots have been in the top 10 in DIII basketball attendance every year ranking second in 2010 November with over 2,000 fans per home game. Football The football team's greatest success occurred between 1916 and 1934. During this era, Worcester had a record of 118-31-12, as won four outright OAC championships. The 1934 title would be the Scots' last outright conference championship for 70 years with only a pair of shared conference titles during that time. In 2004, the team recorded a perfect 10-0 regular season and won its first outright NCAC conference championship, as well as its first NCAA DIII football tournament game. From 1995 through 2008, Worcester's record is 99-43, making this the most successful era since World War II. The 2008 Scots had a record of 8-2, placing second in the NCAC and narrowly missing an NCAA playoff berth. With over 3,100 fans per home game, Worcester ranked in the top 25 in DIII football attendance. In 2009, 
lights and artificial turf were added to the Scots' 4,500-seat John Papp Stadium. The first ever nighttime football game at Worcester was played on October 10, 2009, against Case Western Reserve University, with Case retaining the Baird Brothers trophy by virtue of a 53-32 victory over the Scots. Other sports, in addition to baseball and men's basketball, two other Worcester teams earning NCAA tournament berths during the 2009 October academic year. The women's field hockey and women's lacrosse teams each won their second consecutive NCAC championships, earning automatic bids to their national NCAA DIII tournaments. This was the sixth conference title of the decade for the women's lacrosse team. The only national championship won by a Worcester athletic team came in 1975, when the men's golf team won the NCAA DIII title. Academic All-Americans, since 2000, there have been 18 Scots named Academic All-Americans by COSIDA, in the college division, which includes NCAA Division II and Division III institutions, as well as NAIA schools, a total of over 1,000 colleges. Equals Performing Arts Equals, Worcester is the home of the Ohio Light Opera, an enterprise founded within the college in 1979, but not part of the college curriculum. It is the only professional company in the United States entirely devoted to operetta. OLO performs the entire Gilbert and Sullivan repertoire, but also regularly revives rarely performed continental works of the 19th and early 20th centuries. Over the years, the company has produced 80 different operettas. Worcester's large performing ensembles include the Worcester Symphony Orchestra, founded in 1915 by Daniel Parmley, then professor of violin at the college. The orchestra currently is the second oldest orchestra in continuous performance in the state of Ohio. Additional large ensembles include the Scott Symphonic and Marching Bands, the Worcester Chorus, and the Worcester Jazz Ensemble. Worcester has an active on-campus pipe band. Officially called the College of Worcester Pipe Band, members perform at many official on-campus events such as commencement, sports games and many spontaneous student-run events. During the spring season they perform and compete at a grade 3 level, having won prizes at the Scots We Shots event in Cleveland hosted by the local Wachaba Pipe Band. The pipe brand also placed first in the Grade 3 contest at the 2009 Toronto Indoor Highland Games. Worcester was the only American band competing. The college's Department of Theatre and Dance produces two dance concerts per year, a fall concert in the round, and a spring concert in a more formal proscenium setting. Additionally, the college produces at least two plays each academic year. Further plays are produced by student groups and seniors pursuing their independent study projects. In 2007, Worcester's theatre production of Nocturne was invited to perform at the Kennedy Center's American College Theatre Festival in Washington, D.C. Worcester's production was one of four shows chosen from a field of approximately 400 entries. Equal student activities and clubs equals, the College of Worcester has over 100 student organizations, from the Jenny Investment Club which allows students to invest real money for the college as they learn about the stock market, to Common Grounds, a student-run coffee shop and house program offering an alternative atmosphere to the partying scene for the college community. There are currently ten active Greek groups at the College of Worcester, six sororities and four fraternities. Called clubs and sections, these groups are not affiliated with national Greek organizations, and approximately 15% of the student body participates. The college has a wide variety of student-run media. The Worcester Voice is the weekly student newspaper with a newly launched website, and has been published continuously since 1886, while WCWS is the college radio station. The Goliad is the annual literary magazine. Each year, English professor Daniel Bourne also publishes an international literary magazine called Artful Dodge. Additionally, the English department has classes every two years on journalism and magazine writing. These students create and publish a newspaper and a magazine respectively. The college also has a successful Ultimate Frisbee program. The women's team, Betty Gone Wild, won Youth Ultimate's DIII College Championship sectionals in 2014 and 2015. 
Also in 2014 and 2015 they came in second at Usold Mets DII College Championship Regionals. They attended the National College Championship in 2014 and came in 15th place with a first place award in spirit. Notable people. References. Further reading, James A. Blackwood, The House on College Avenue, The Comptons at Worcester, 1891-1913. Lucy Lillian Notestine, Worcester of the Middle West. External links, official website, official athletics website, Worcester University. Collier's New Encyclopedia 1921